Our station of the year signed on in 1926 with the usual blocks of big band music, network programming, news, farm reports, even live soap operas, and they did okay. Now Middle Tennesseans had another full-service radio station. Then in 1942, they got their power boosted to 50,000 watts, and that monster signal shot WLAC into their glory years. From the 40s, the Japanese have accepted our terms fully. That is the word we have just received from the White House in Washington. And <laughs> All the way through the 60s, WLAC gradually hit their full stride, becoming the nighttime station for half the nation. That's right, literally over half the country. 28 states, three Canadian provinces, all listening to what was coming out of Nashville at night. Time is one minute after three o'clock, and a good morning to you. This is Bo Kent, your host. With As WLAC grew in signal, so did their audience. Even the teenagers were tuning in. And some historians believe they helped form the foundational audience for the late 50s phenomenon that became rock and roll. And what an amazing lineup of on-air talent. Gene Nobles, with the ape man sound effects and a slanguage all his own. Hawking hair tonic with Little Richard. And on a turntable right now, Everybody's favorite, Little Richard. Come in, man. Slipping on a slide in Gene Noble with that good word on Royal Crown hairdressing. Everywhere I go. The legendary John hey, R. What you gonna do? Come on, John R. Man, and play with the rhythm do. Selling everything from records of baby chicks all by mail order. Now, you like fried chicken, I know. Everybody does. How would you like to have fried chicken on your table just about any time you wanted it, huh? 110 of the finest baby chicks you ever saw for the low, low price of just $2.95 plus 50 cents. Herman Grizzard. Two of those Kinorkins and after hours. That's the little thing that tells you it's time once again for music. After hours, where you hear both the sweet and the beat, rock and roll music on record. And Hoss Allen. Well, friends, it's been a long time since the horseman had the gospel keynotes and the Swanee Quintet. You the... gotta admit, it was a very impressive lineup, especially when you consider these four guys helped start a lot of careers, including James Brown. I feel good. I knew that I wouldn't have. I feel good. Ray Charles. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Oh. Otis Redding. And Aretha Franklin. Respect? Oh, yeah. These guys had it, and they socked it to us every night. When it came to popular music, WLAC wasn't just a radio station, it was the radio station. Even rockers of the 1970s like Johnny Winters, Charlie Daniels, on the number and digging on the radio, and the Allman Brothers, all cited WLAC as one of their major musical influences. As technology improved, music aficionados found their way to the FM band, and in spite of their signal, they started losing ground. Finally, and some say sadly. WLAC pulled the plug on the music in 1980. They became one of the first stations in the South to go all news and talk. And today, that format continues. But for decades, when it came to rock and roll, rhythm and blues, the Motown sounds, and soul, there was only one place to be. Please welcome the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame Station of the Year, 1510 WLAC. W.